checking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's the Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. We're going to talk about Zen Crypto, which, as you can see from the chart, is pumping. Done about 175% from the lows around here. And, of course, that is not much considering um, the amounts that this has actually dropped from launch. This is the Ethereum uh, pair, uh, the Ethereum USDC pair. Um, if you look on BZEN, which is the Binance Smart Chain pair, um, I have the chart somewhere. You'll see that that's actually been pumping a little bit as well. Um, if we just uh, enlarge on that, that's been pumping a little bit as well. But I'm focusing on the Ethereum network version at the moment. Okay, guys, this is the one that I hold the most liquid Zen in at the moment. Okay, and that is, uh, yeah, that's looking good, guys. I think uh, we're going to see a lot more people buying the token potentially, right? Um, right now because it's less profitable to mint zen in the short term because you're, you're not getting a lot of zen considering the the price that it's at right now right so the best minting strategy is long-term mints if you want to take advantage of short-term price action you're going to be buying the token it's the fastest way to accumulate the token um, aside from minting is to buy it at these very cheap prices and clearly you can see that momentum is coming in so trading volume is up um, quite a lot. I believe it's quadrupled according to this tweet right here. But one of the catalysts of this may be the Zen Proof of Burn NFTs. I'm not going to pretend I know everything about these NFTs. I've seen tweets about it here and there. I didn't really look into it too much, right, guys? But these are what they're going to look like, I believe. And, um, you know, they've got a test net for these NFTs and all that sort of stuff. Obviously, they're available on OpenSea. Um, it's not something I'm looking to buy and as an NFT, but um, it's definitely doing wonders for the price action at the moment. And one thing's for sure is the CEO or the founder of Zen knows how to market, right? There's one thing that we've seen is consistent marketing. Okay, guys, he's continuously on Twitter doing updates and um, yeah, getting partnerships and all of that sort of stuff. So that is a pretty bullish update for Zen Network. At the moment, all right, guys, the price is looking good. Um, it's on nine different chains now. I did a mint on another chain the other day. I can't remember what it was, but it's on a few different chains. I've seen an update about it coming on Doge Chain as well, which I've never used. I've never used Doge Chain personally, not yet at least. But um, yeah, I minted on the Evmos chain as well. So I've got some on Evmos. Haven't done Moonbeam. Haven't done Ethereum Pow. I've done all the other chains. I've done Phantom. I've done uh, Avalanche, I've done Polygon, Binance Smart Chain, and Ethereum. Not done Doge Chain, like I said. All right, guys, but several chains you can mint on and get your hands on some of this Zen Crypto token. What do I think about the price action? Do I think it can go up more? I think that there's a lot of potential for this to pump a lot more, uh, just based on what I've said already, for the simple fact that this is the fastest way to accumulate a token. And uh, people will probably FOMO in on this price action and this might get some more momentum. There are some resistance levels. We've already passed this, uh, this resistance level right here and it's coming for a pullback, potentially down to support and then maybe up here. I think it's pretty a pretty low risk trade if you were going to trade this right now when i say low risk i mean in comparison to the risk and reward okay guys because the risk is for example if it comes down to support right and of course this is <clears throat> of course this is highly volatile let's not forget that it's sitting at about three million market cap so super degen but if it came down to support we're looking at about a 20 percent pullback from where it is already at this support level over here and um, if it does go up to the next major resistance level over here we're looking at if we get the measurement tool back out we're looking at, uh, looking at approximately between 89 and 197 200 percent so that is the potential for this moving forward um in the very short term in my opinion but like i said this could be um this could pull back this could be the end of this little run and then we get a little bit of accumulation i don't expect it to just pump overnight but it could do considering the momentum considering the low market cap considering the nfts and so on so you know i did uh, decide to buy a little bit of zen just to front run the minting process okay guys because um yeah my mints are very long term we're talking up to a year 
uh, 100 days, you know, kind of, you know, long, short, sorry, mid to long term mints, where I'm getting quite a few, quite a decent amount of tokens, but I managed to buy a pretty decent size bag for very cheap. I didn't go all in at the end of the day, but, you know, this could be a potential trade or short term trade opportunity. And uh, in the long run, I think that this has got all the potential that something like Hex has had, you know, uh, considering, you know, the founder, his reputation, his track record, uh, the way this token has come about, it's not a, it's not a cash grab and all those sorts of things. So, you know, I don't think it's, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to miss the money, um, you know, if it doesn't go my way straight away, to be honest. Uh, but of course, you know, none of this is financial advice. Do your own research. Don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. Of course, this is crypto. So there's a risk with everything. I'm a degen. So, you know, I take those risks. And um, yeah, that's really what I can say about it, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Price is pumping. Do you think there's more upside or do you think this is going to crash and burn from here? Let me know what you believe in the comments. If you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Tick the little bell for notifications. Like the video, which helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.